David Miller says, I posted this on the Craig Minions and I would like to have your opinion. I'm building a homemade website for our next business, but how can I build blogging on my comments page? A nice guy, thanks to him, told me about Live Fire, but is... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I uh, got cut off here, but is there any solution to build this blogging as using PHP? And if it's possible, do you think this can be a good solution? Um, let me get let me get this straight here. You said you want to you're building a homemade website for your next business, but how can I build a blogging on my comments page? Um, okay, I've got a couple opinions on this. First of all, um, I'm curious why you're building it from scratch. Uh, when you've got the tools out there like WordPress that are secure, they're stable, they're reliable, they've got plug-in extensions, they've got all these comment systems in place, uh, they're being used by some of the major companies all around the world and the United States, huge firms, uh, New York Times and, and things like this are using this infrastructure. It's available to you for free. I strongly encourage you, it's, it's powered by PHP already, you can still go in there and code your own plugins and your own add-ons, and it will save you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of time, slews of time. Um, I, I'm going to push you in that direction because as a website developer myself, who has been a web design developer for years, I can tell you that there's nothing more frustrating than needing to recode a website manually when you want a new feature. And WordPress is designed in a way to be completely modular, and you can install WordPress, and then you can go in with your PHP programming skills and create your own plugins or modify existing plugins to do exactly what you want them to do. You are in the perfect position, if you know PHP, to use WordPress. It will have live fire support, which is a whole complete comment system. It will have um, discuss comment system support which is a completely different comment-based system. It will have uh, Google embedded posts, so you can actually embed your Google Plus comments right in your post. You can technically do that right now, by the way, uh, with your, no, nope, you'd probably have to manually code it if you were using your own website. So you could embed your Google Plus, which is what I do on my website, by the way. Um, you, you can embed Facebook posts. You can embed, I mean, I could go on and on and on. There's like, you can have social media logins. Uh, there's so much more you can do with that system that, like, when people tell me they're for, unless you are building a bank website, like, that needs supreme security, it's like, why are you making more work for yourself? Unless it's just to learn. So I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there, David. I hope it kind of answers your question. Um, but... To answer it, you could. You could manually code a comment system. Here's the problem. What is it? Three out of five new sites that are going on the internet are powered by WordPress, I believe is the new statistic. Three out of five new websites are powered by WordPress. People are getting comfortable and used to the WordPress commenting systems already, which means that once they see it at the bottom of your blog post, they're going to be comfortable with the interface already because they've seen it everywhere else. Uh, people are allowed to comment through their social media, and that's becoming more and more tightly knit, which means that social media integration on your blog is becoming more and more realistic. Uh, and that's something that in the past, as a personal programmer, you'd be like, huh, whatever, how could I ever possibly write my, I'd have to write my own API, I'd have to write all, and this is all something you can deploy on a WordPress site in like a half hour. Um, but uh, really what's happening is you don't want to get people to leave social media to comment on your blog, it's one of the most difficult things to do to build a community outside of social media. I've tried it time and time again. Chris Perillo's tried it time and time again. Eli the Computer Guy's tried it time and time again. Everybody I see is trying to build all these communities outside of social media, including myself, and we fail horribly. Why? Because people live in social media. And you know who told me that first? Chris Perillo. And why did he tell me that? Because he tried to build so many communities. This is a guy with a massive community himself of people who follow him on YouTube. He couldn't even build a sustainable community outside of social media. People live in social media. It is one of the most difficult things to do to build a community outside of social media. Uh, so social integration on your blog is becoming more and more essential. Requiring people to sign in, create their own profiles, 
becoming less and less likely to get true engagement. You will get a lot of spammers, though. Sorry, I'm kind of passionate about that subject um, because I've wasted a lot of my own time on it. 